welcome to Hello Nigeria. Now today on the show we're going to be taking you not just through Nigeria but to Germany. We're looking at German art and how it relates to Nigeria. And no better person to do this for us than the head of the Goethe Institute, the person of Mark Andre Schmartel. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for inviting me. And we have with us um, a German artist, a very beautiful German artist, and her name is Saha Rahimi. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for You're your very invitation. Welcome. Thank you. Okay, Thank you. so you both are from the Goethe Institute. You are the head of the Goethe Institute. Yes. What is the Goethe Institute about? The Goethe Institute is a German cultural center, the official German cultural center, actually. We're working in over 150 countries, in the, uh, we have 150 centers in, around the world, so we have a very wide network. And we're promoting uh, German culture, German language, and information about Germany. But we try as well, where we are, uh, to engage in intercultural dia dialogues, really to, to exchange with the partners on ground, to, to, with the host country, to have a, like a, a cultural uh, exchange. Uh, that, that German culture can come in, but as well the host country can present their cultures as well in Nigeria. So that's what we, uh, in Germany, that's what we try to do as well. Oh, that's great. Now, is the institute um, a government-founded, um, funded, or government-established organization, or was it, is it privately established? Yes and no. I mean, we have a special situation that we are a private, or we are an, an, um, a non-profit association, okay. but we have an agreement with the foreign office that says, okay, you get, we get our major funding from the foreign office. So we have a very close relationship to the German Foreign Office. This is why we are the official cultural center. They uh, have uh, um, allowed us to use this as a kind of branding. If you are abroad, out of, outside of uh, Germany, uh, the Goethe Institute represents Germany somehow as in, on the cultural scene. Okay, so um, you are a German artist, uh -huh. mm -hmm. and basically you're trying to sell the culture of Germany to us here in Nigeria, and that means you must have bought some of our culture as well. What would you say has been the most interest? First of all, is this your first time in Nigeria? No. I've been here several times. Okay. We've done three projects so far in, in Nigeria nice. and also in collaboration with Nigerian artists. So, so what would you say has been the most interesting thing about the Nigerian culture to you? Hmm. I think what is very interesting is that the culture is, um, is giving to each other through sto te telling stories. It's mm. an oral culture mm -hmm. and that is very interesting for us because I think the European culture is very much based on texts, on written texts, and e here I th see that information, knowledge, wisdom is given to each other by the elders, by the wisdom people. Very so true. it's passed and on verbally as opposed to It's passed through history. verbally, and that's very interesting mm. because when we are researching for a pro project, we go and research in books. And here I heard from other artists in Nigeria that they go and speak to people. Yes. They go and speak to var various people. Yes. And so they get, get a wider image on a thing that is interesting them. That is very interesting for me. Now you're an artist. Um, and we know arts, um, hat, art has many faces. Are you visual? Um, are you more, uh, do you draw? What's your mm -hmm. um, um, artistic um, skill? Yeah, my main... Uh, Art is theater, so I'm okay. based in theater, but we are working like on the intersection between theater and visual arts. Okay. So it's a theater that is very close to visual arts. Oh, okay. It's not very text based, it's more based on the image. Yeah. All right, so Mac Andre, um, let's talk about the acceptance. How well has Nigerian society accepted the Goethe Institute? How well have we accepted the culture which you're trying to share with us? Well, I think quite. Good. I mean, the, the acceptance is very high, I think. Um, we've been here since 1962, so over 50 years now. Um, and uh, when we had our 50th anniversary in 2012, we had as well a big festival where we invited actually many partners as well. And uh, the, from the, uh, the, the reactions that we had from the, the feedbacks and so on, was was clear that the Goethe Institute always had been a, a place where people could come and present themselves. So we had, of course, like German artists coming, exhibitions, workshops, and so on. But Nigerian artists used as well Goethe Institute as a platform for their arts, for the for exhibitions and so on. And I think this has always been one of the very big focuses of the Goethe Institute to present not just German but as well Nigerian arts. And this is recognized, I think, as well by the Nigerian art scene. And um, I mean, if you look at the, the 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 consistency by which we have been doing this, I think it's a, a very important and a very, very um, uh, uh, major factor actually to, to uh, um, have this kind of recognition as well. Okay, so um, you've been in Nigeria for a while, for about five years. Who would you say is your favorite Nigerian artist or 
your favorite Nigerian artist? Oh, that's as well a difficult question because if I say one, then the <laughs> other one would say, oh, but yeah. mm. so there are many good. I mean, this is always tricky because there are so many good artists and mm. we've worked with a lot of them as well. We okay, had, who have you worked with? We've, well, we, for instance, we worked on a, um, on a very uh, important project um, with a graphic artist, Kara Kwakire. Okay. Um, and uh, he did his first solo exhibition at the Goethe Institute and afterwards he became quite important, quite, quite quick. We, um, he was presented at the Venice Biennale and so on. Now he's international, he's quite uh, re uh, well recognized. We've worked, but we, we, for instance, with Imeka Okpo, we've worked with uh, sound artists, we've worked with um, uh, who else, like uh, visual artists, um, Sheguna Defila, theater performer um, from the Crown Troupe. Um, um, and uh, like, there were quite a lot actually. And so you worked with a variety of people. And you didn't notice how comfortable it is for them to pronounce, pronounce their Nigerian names. names. I think that's really impressive. Now you've been here for about five years in terms of being the head of the institute yes. and you have obviously um, championed some um, changes, events here in Nigeria to promote the German culture and also to promote interactions with mm. Nigerian mm. artists and Germ mm. German artists. What would you say has been one of the biggest um, advancements or biggest things you've done in terms of events here in Nigeria? Well, we had some big events and amongst them was, as I said earlier, the, the Lagos Live Festival that we did in 2012 for the 50th anniversary, which, which was the first time that the like four days performance festival took mm. place, live art performance festival took That's place great. in Lagos. Um, afterwards, we had a very uh, interesting and important exhibition as well called Voyage Retour, which was in cooperation with the German uh, Museum on archive photography. And we worked together with, uh, for instance, another very important name in Nigeria, um, uh, J.D. Okai Jekere, uh, Paul Jekere, um, who had some of his images presented there as well. So he, and, we, and this, for instance, was as well a very important um, as, uh, uh, exhibition. One, because of the, the artworks themselves, but as well because of the location, because we used the federal government press, an old printing press that uh, is not being used anymore, an old historic colonial building, and that we try to really promote as an art space as well. And we're still working on this art space. For instance, we're doing an ex um, exhibition there right now. We're working with different partners to kind of, of uh, uh, set up a structure that can maybe run as well this space as an art space or a media space in, in yes. the future. Then we had some um, we had uh, uh, events as well in the performance art. Uh, we do we did uh, the National Pop Up Theater where we tried to to raise the question: What is a national theater in Nigeria? Yes. Where what is a nation of Nigeria? And, and what how can a national theater represent Nigeria? And if you look at the building of the national theater in in uh, Igamu, you have like really a, a, a superb building. This is what we try to 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 address as well. Can a national theater not be anywhere? Can we not have a national theater right here in this oh, studio, yeah. for instance, and so on? Yes. So what are, what are we doing right now? Are we doing per theater? We are performing as well in front of the camera. So this is always the question that we try to, to raise as well. What can a national theater be? And then we did as well um, some other ex exhibitions. Um, uh, we did a like film, f we partnered with many festivals as well, with Lagos wow. Photo. You've really done quite a lot, and I must really applaud there you are quite for, some lot yes. for the work you have done. Now, this is Hello Nigeria, and it's important for you to tell us your taste of Nigeria. Let's start with you, Saha. What is, or what, I, what Nigerian meals have you tasted? Mm. I tasted a lot of meals because I'm very curious. I tasted, for example, egusi soup. Mm -hmm. I've tasted pepper soup. I've tasted pepper soup. Well, well, please tell us the first experience when you had the hot. Do you eat spicy food, or is it something that when you get to Nigeria is a treat? No, in 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 Germany you usually don't eat so spicy food. Oh. But the but the spiciness is nice because it t triggers something new. It's yeah. okay. nice. So you said a goosey pepper soup. What yes, else? Yes, and uh, I had suya, mm -hmm. and I had. Um, I had Eddie Kai Kong, I had Ooh. Moi Moi, I had <laughs> a lot of nice you, you, I think you should just come back and stay with us. <laughs> a lot of <laughs> rice and... Oh wow, you probably order. had more and variety snakes. than some Nigerians themselves. I'm very impressed by <laughs> your um, adventurous, adventurous nature when it comes to food in Nigeria. Fantastic. Yeah, that's true. Mark andre has it been the same for you? Have oh, you yes. ventured into some Nigerian cuisines? I did actually, and same as for Sasa, I really tried to, to open up as well. Is this something, I mean, if you come to a country, a new yes. country, uh, uh, the food is a very, very important part of it because if you don't uh, get into the food, you really can't really understand a lot of, of the culture. So I think that's very important for me as well. And of course, I like to eat as well. And this is the uh, same for her. I had really, I tried, I think, uh, almost everything. How about our music? Which is your favorite music artist? Do you have any? 
If I say the name now, uh, you say, oh, again, fell out. Fell out, but that's a popular choice. No one can exactly. fault you. Yes, exactly. no one can. Saying fell out, Nicolas Pocuti. He's no, a for legend. me, he's one of the really uh, most interesting artists, and that's the thing. Um, I think he has has done so much for, for Nigerian and African music that it's really you cannot just escape and you have to kind of, of uh, recognize him as well and give him, pay him tribute. Maybe from the, from the younger ones, uh, for, it's difficult because, I mean, there's a lot of, of like, like commercial musicians and so on, but if you look at, um, at the artists that are present, for instance, featured at Afropolitan Vibes um, by the Bantu, uh, if you look at them, there are quite some interesting young ones coming up, and Very if you lo listen to them, I think there's a big potential as well there. Very good. Okay, um, you are an artist. We'd like to have you feel just a little bit of your theatrical prowess. So would you be kind enough? You don't need to stand up. You can do it seated. If you do want to do a freestyle for us, a few lines. A few lines? Oh. I'm a director, I'm not an actor. Oh, you're the actor. director. <laughs> oh, okay. So it's, okay. it's hard to do something. All right, since you are the director, when can we come and see you do your thing? It's, it's a mixture of both. Mm. It's a collaboration work between my company, it's called Monster Truck from Germany, and the company, uh, The Footprints of David, that is the child children's company of Crown Troop of Africa. That's fantastic. Yes. With Shegun Adefila as the choreographer. It's a performance festival called Lagos Live. Um, it's a follow-up to the one we did for the 50th anniversary, and it's a festival that showcases live art performances. You have theater, you have music, you have uh, dance, you have uh, insta like video art performances as well. Um, and it's really to, uh, uh, well, for us it was like a, um, um, a way of showcasing again contemporary Nigerian, but as well German arts and, yes. and especially in this live art uh, um, um, sector, to say, okay, we're trying to, to um, um, of course, Nigeria is known for, for, for literature and so on, for music, for film, but the live art performances, there are many that are maybe not yet so recognized, okay. and I think this was a way, a way as well to, to and, and says, as she just said, to promote as well the German-Nigerian exchange, because okay. we co-produce this show and the other show that we co-produce as well. You're going to do that first on our show. You're going to tell us how to say, hello, Nigeria, in German. It's very similar, actually. Okay. Hello, Nigeria. Hello, Hello Nigeria. Nigeria. <laughs> oh, okay. simple. And just Hello, before Nigeria. we end this conversation, last <laughs> question. Now that you're leaving, uh, you're probably, you're leaving Nigeria to Germany, right? I'm leaving Nigeria to Germany, end of next oh, week, yes. Okay. Are you taking with you a Nigerian bride? A Nigerian bride? Ooh, that's difficult because I have uh, somebody sitting next to me <laughs> who <laughs> wouldn't be happy about this, so... <laughs> Oh, <laughs> so you just found out. We just found out that they are going to be getting married. Are we invited? But we learn to know each other in Nigeria. Oh, that's fun. So it's a Nigerian um, it love is story. In, somehow it is so Nigeria. Made in Nigeria. Exactly. So I take Nigeria with love story. me. Oh, that's so beautiful. <laughs> thank you very much for sharing this with us. And thank you for speaking with us. We look forward to being at your events. Thank, thank you, you very much. much. All right, we've been thank speaking you. with Mark Andre and Raha. Saha Rahimi, and they're from the Goethe Institute, and um, they just taught us a new line in German, so can we just say it together? Hello, Hello Nigeria. Nigeria. See you again. Uh -huh. <laughs>to so enjoy more of this, our Ubonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.